Hi friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Elwing and I are here today to talk to you about some great books that we think you might also be excited about, just like we are. So the very first one is called Magic, Dark, and Strange by Kelly Powell, Magic, Dark, and Strange. I was absolutely first drawn to this because of the cover because it's so eerie and beautiful. Uh, now this book is a little unusual in a couple reasons. The first is that it's historical, it's a historical uh, gothic fiction, but it never really tells you when or where it takes place. It just leaves you to come up with it out of your own imagination. It could be England, it could be America, they never really say. They also never really say what time period it's in, although it is definitely, there's uh, carriages um, and it's set in, in an old tiny kind of feel to it. But again, they never actually tell you when or where, which is kind of cool because it leaves it up to your imagination. Now, this is a book about a girl named Catherine who has this really interesting power. So by day she works at this printing company, um, but at night she her power allows her to raise the dead and they are she does this so that loved ones can say goodbye so they pay her to raise somebody from the dead they can say their last respects and then she puts them back down so the it does come with a price though and the price is for every hour she pulls somebody back from the dead she loses an hour of her own life so that's really cool um she is enlisted to find this timepiece which is like a um a, a watch because it is rumored to permanently bring people back from the dead. And when she goes to try to find this timepiece buried where it's supposed to be, she doesn't find it. She finds the body of a teenage boy who is suddenly brought to life right in front of her eyes, but without her using her powers. So she becomes friends with him and now they're on this quest to find this timepiece because they're thinking, well, maybe it's somewhere nearby and that's what caused him to come back to life. Um, so they're, it's this mystery where they're trying to find this. They're being pursued by these shadowy figures. Um, so it's very spooky. It's very mysterious. Um, and I love the language in it too. It's just, it's just written really well. It's beautifully written. Um, it's very, it's like a gothic fantasy historical fantasy and you just want to sink into it it's just so with like the mist and the graveyard and the ghosts and it's fantastic um the other really good thing about it is it's very short uh i think it's actually less than 200 pages so you can read this very quickly breeze through it um it's a fantastic fantastic read especially on like a rainy day or night when uh you feel like you're getting cozy or being a little bit spooked out and that's magic dark and strange very good book absolutely loved it. So the next one is called Rebel Rose by Emma Theralt. Rebel Rose. This is another one that's cover is pretty cool. Now this is the first one in a new series called The Queen's Council. And this is a series that is kind of like retelling of Disney fairy tales, but with a twist. So I say retelling, um, but this is not really a retelling. It's more of a what happens after the happily ever after. So this one focuses on Beauty, on the, Beauty and the Beast, which is my favorite. So I was very excited to read this. And it's more along the lines of what happens after she breaks the curse and Belle and the prince get married. What happens then? Well, what happens is they're living in France in the 1700s. So they have to deal with a lot of political things and including the um, revolution that is happening in Paris, um, the nobles and dealing with the peasants. Um, Belle has to learn how to navigate this new world because she has obviously never been uh, a noble person before. She was always living in the, you know, with her father as a peasant in the village. Um, so she now has to um, reckon with all these new responsibilities that she has and also you know with this new marriage that she has with the with the prince and it's a fantastic fantastic story if you love the character of Belle um, from the story of Beauty and the Beast it's really cool to see her come into her own here where she really just takes charge of things and you know she has a lot of heart and it's fantastic to watch 
Um, it's also really cool because there is a lot of historical fiction stuff happening here too. Like I said, like with the revolution in Paris, um, and they get a little bit entangled in that. So it's really cool in that sense as well, because, um, it really, the author really sets the book, um, sets the book in the historical setting that it's, that it's in and it's rooted in that. So you really just get the feel that, um, you know, oh, this wasn't just a story. This wasn't a movie. This really happened. So it's really, really cool and super fun and interesting. And a lot of stuff happens that with characters that you probably know and love. There's Lumiere, there's Cogsworth, there's Mrs. Potts, um, and there's obviously Belle and the Prince. And watching them with their relationship is really great too because, you know, they haven't, they don't really know each other as human and human. They know each other as human and beast. So it's also really cool watching their relationship um, grow and flourish and be tested uh, as well. So if you're interested in fairy tales or Disney fairy tales, um, if even if you're not, this is still just a really good book. And uh, Rebel Rose is what that's called. Well, I hope that they sound interesting and fun to you guys. If so, please, please feel free to get them from the Farmington Community Library. You can uh, put them on hold and get them during our uh, curbside service hours. Or you can even come into the building and pick them up that way as well. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.